This is the story of a clan who originated in a tiny part of Scotland but have spread across the globe. In Sweden and Borneo, across America, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, there are members of Clan Macpherson. The Macpherson story has something of a religious beginning. It involves a group of smaller, less powerful clans who came together for mutual protection, as well as battles, feuds and a lost fortune in Jacobite gold. And it takes place in one of the most beautiful parts of Scotland. It's a story of clan loyalty, a time of siege and danger following the Battle of Culloden when government forces laid waste to huge parts of the Highlands. After the Jacobite defeat in 1745, the clan chief Ewan, known as Clooney Macpherson, escaped capture by government troops for nine years, despite a reward of a thousand pounds being offered for his capture. And he hid in some notable layers like Clooney's Cave, an inaccessible cliff above Newton Moor, or Clooney's Cage, a hut on the slopes of Ben Alder, and at one point even held the horse of the officer who was looking for him. During the 1745 rebellion, Spanish gold was landed on the west coast of Scotland and taken to Loch Arkeg for safekeeping, but it disappeared. Clooney Macpherson was one of those delegated to look after the treasure, but others thought he helped its disappearance. He eventually disappeared himself when he escaped to France in 1755. James Macpherson was another local with something of a clouded reputation. As the author of three collections of what was largely his own work, he tried to pass off as poems by Ossian, a pre-Christian blind Gallic bard. He created a literary sensation and a controversy. But not everyone was taken in. There were those, mainly Samuel Johnson, who said the work was a fraud but a later charge brought even greater infamy. In the aftermath of the Highland Clearances, Macpherson was accused of enthusiastically transporting people from the states he had acquired around his birthplace in King Ussie, and that he had bought the right to be buried in Westminster Abbey. 